What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Flotsam. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today. It's been up for a little while and we're finally starting to get ahead of things. Doesn't it feel nice? Wouldn't it be nice to not be starving? Wouldn't it be great not to die of thirst? And so that's where we're at right now. We're doing okay. Life is moving along. We've got some supplies and some things happening right now. We're finally starting to get ahead of the water curve, which is pretty swell. And we've got ourselves another mooring point over here. Did I ever make another boat for that? I don't know if I made another boat for that. Hey, where's my... There it is. My menu wasn't popping up. My menu wasn't popping up. My menu! I think we're pretty full on inventory right now, which is a bit of a bummer. I would like to move all of the boats to this outer ring over here while we've got time. But I kind of feel like that's one of those minuscule tasks that I don't really want to go too crazy with right now. I did want to take a look. I haven't played in a couple of days, so I wanted to get a feel for where our stuff was at as far as the game's concerned I really wish you could get a hold of that right there but it won't let you so somebody asked in the comments if you can deploy a fishing spot like right here and then expand it out to get to there no because it won't let you drop the fishing point unless you're actively highlighting a fishing spot and I can't get to those ones and I still haven't figured out how to clear out the fog of war yet I assume there's an object or something you find later like a telescope or something that you put on the top of here that allows you to get closer and do other things but I haven't quite gotten there yet uh, where are you going the leaky where, where, where are you going right now you're not salvaging metal, are you? You shouldn't be salvaging metal. I don't know what that guy's doing. He's doing- let's watch him for a second. Where are you going? I don't see a rally flag over here, so like... Are you just doing extracurriculars right now, or...? What's up with that? What are you- what are you doing? This guy is apparently looting the aqueduct. Okay. That's fine. I mean, I don't think we have the space for it. Like, you're welcome to do that if you want. I just don't feel like we really have the space for it. I would like to get the better storage yard, too. That way I can start storing even more stuff, because I think as of right now, we're kind of, like, full on the inventory front. There's not a whole lot of space left. And so, really, our options are restricted to, like, we can tear down this mooring point right here, put two more storage spots in, and then move it over to here. Which I think is a valid pursuit. I don't think it's the worst idea ever. But we don't really have space to store any of the stuff that we have going out. Our fishing guy isn't fishing anymore, so I assume that we're out of fish on this map. So it may be worth it for us to just get the hell out of here and go somewhere else. There's not enough accommodations for all drifters. There should be. We have four guys, right? Oh, we have five guys. Mm. I suppose that makes sense. Let's add another house over here to our little residential area. There we go. Another house for the residential area. If nothing else, that'll help us burn through a few supplies so that we have at least a little bit of storage area left. Get that thing all mashed together so everybody has a place to sleep because this does restore your stamina at like three times the speed of sleeping on the deck. And so it saves you quite a bit of productivity, actually. Just a bit. Not a ton, but a little bit. We got a little bit of firewood left. Let's go ahead and get these queued up. There we go. Oh, they nerfed it. Yeah, they nerfed it. So they must have watched the videos. Uh, it actually only takes two fire now in order to make a water instead of three like it was before. Oh, nice. Well, that makes the game super easy. Like I said, I didn't really have a solution to the water problem. Because, like, if they did what they did right here, I feel like it would be too easy. But, like, they definitely they nerfed it. So, whatever, you know. Uh, no complaints from me. I'll take it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We were surviving just fine with the old set of rules. Uh, but apparently there were complaints going around or something. Or maybe they just felt internally that they needed to nerf water production. I'm sorry, buff water production. But yeah, there you go. We're producing water way more early, like way easier. That's actually pretty massive. Decreasing it from three fire to two fire in order to make a water is big. It's really, really big. And so we're going to have no problems with water from now on. That's going to be easy peasy lemon squeezy. New house is up and ready to go. I think it's time for us to move on. Uh, we've got nowhere else to go except to the end of the world on this side. So let's see what happens. It just takes you back to the beginning. So we're back at the sailboat on the rocks right now. And so we get a sail. And Oh, it just takes you back to the beginning of the game. So basically we've beaten the game at this point. Um, We already have the sail. I don't think we need a second sail. Four ropes would be nice, though. Somebody go over there and salvage that. 
That's fine by me. I don't mind. Uh, then what I'd like to do is I'd like to deconstruct this. No. I would like for you to, yeah, deconstruct that boat. And deconstruct that pier. Oh, they moved it. Oh. Well, then I don't even need to do that then. Yeah, leave it alone then. And so now that we've got that all moved out of the way. Okay. I didn't realize that they would like beep, beep, beep. Like back up the pier and like move it somewhere. I didn't realize they would move a boat from over here to over there. I, I had no clue. So yeah, just make another mooring over here. And then on this side, what we'll do is we will put in a couple more storage spots. I hope I can fix... If I can fit two of them, that would be great. Thank you. Yeah, put in two more storage spots, please. We have enough water to last us a little while. We also have enough wood to keep us going for a bit. So I'm going to go to the crafting place, and we are going to go... Yeah, just max that out for right now. Just to make sure we stay on top of water. I would like to pick up some more civilians now that we're on top of everything. If we've got fish around, we definitely want to go grab those. And so I'll put the fishing spot right there. And I will put... We got any other little fishy spots? Oh, we got a bunch of fishy spots. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Okay, so put the fishy spot in right there. And then, like, enlarge it. And then, oh, I guess I gotta set these up separately. Never mind. So we've got three fishy spots for right now. Uh, and lots and lots of resources. Like, loads of resources. Like, tons of them. So we should be in good shape from here on in. Uh, what I would like to see is they've already hit that spot right there. That means we've got a permanent sail inside of there. Another mast. I don't really care about that. Have they not unloaded it? Oh, he's on his way back. We could put in another sail if we just wanted to be super baller. We could put in another sail over here so that we've got two sails. I got two sails. One for the sea and one for the rails. I got two sail... Kind of a waste, but, you know, whatever. Uh, let's go ahead and I need to get some plastiques. So if we can get some plastiques from over there, that'd be fantastic. Thank you. Well, don't remove the marker. That was a misclick. I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to enlarge. There we go. And so we'll bring back whatever plastics we can while we wait for things to get a little bit better. Uh, I also need to put out another... platform over here and I would like for that to go to right there as soon as we have the supplies to grab that that's what we're gonna do and we're just gonna kind of have like concentric rings going outwards from our base it's pretty much the way that I'm gonna work it uh, we're hanging fish we're making food the firewood is done they're over here working on this job right here some more plastics coming in, which is fantastic. Very excited about that. I'd like to keep all the boats on this side, if at all possible. I don't know if that's going to be feasible, but that's what I would like to do. Over on this side, I don't know what I'm going to put in right there. I haven't really decided. Solar still won't fit. We could put in another solar still right there. I mean, four solar stills. That's pretty no joke. Are these all full? That's full. That one's almost full. Yeah. Let's maybe go in on another... Well, that's not what I wanted. That was a mistake. That was an accident. How come they're not canceling now? That's weird. You used to right-click this and it would cancel. Now it's not canceling. Why is it not canceling? I'm vexed. I don't know why it's not canceling. Eh, we'll go ahead and... Is it working on this one? It's working on this one! Why is it working on that one? Huh. Weird. I don't know what to say about that. It's very, very odd. Huh. Why won't it cancel those jobs? Canceled her job, please! Canceled her job! I guess it doesn't want to cancel her job. Oh well. Sometimes you want to cancel their job, sometimes their job want to cancel you. 
Uh, while we're here and we're in good shape, nobody's making the water either, which is kind of concerning. I wonder if it's queued up in order now. Hope that's not bugged. I don't want to build another one. I think it might be. That or we just don't have the workforce to get it all done. Maybe. I don't know. Either way, we are absolutely going to need more water, so... You know, maybe maybe throw a few more little fiery bits on there so we don't all die horribly. Uh, we were in really good shape, and now this thing isn't producing, so maybe it's just because everybody's out on boats doing stuff. I don't know. I think we have enough plastic. We can probably, yeah, remove that marker for now. Let's have somebody come back home and maybe help out with the workflow slightly. Just like a little bit of helping out with the workflow, since it seems to be somewhat stuck. I think this one's bugged. I'll be honest with you. Yeah, deconstruct it. We'll build another one. It's fine. We'll get on top of it. We've got the water for right now to make it happen. We'll rebuild it. Uh, I don't think it's working, because when I clicked that one on, they instantly went and started working on it. With this one, they were like, meh! And it also won't let me cancel the work order right there, so... It's a little bit wasteful, but we get most of the materials back anyways, so it shouldn't be too awful. Come on, finish it off, break it down. Come on. I believe in you little dudes, just get it done. Break her on down. Breaker, breaker, I'm gonna need you to take down this distillery right here. If you can get that done for me, that'd be fantastic. There we go. All right, build another one, you mooks. How much firewood am I sitting on right now? 16, so enough for eight more waters. Just do it. Treat it like Nike and just do it while we wait. Kind of have workflow problems too. We're gonna need more people. We're gonna need like, I think two more guys should fix that up. It will increase our total expenditures as far as water and food go, but that means we could conceivably everything. If we take on four more guys, I could add two more docks. That way we have two fishers and we also have two salvagers on top of all the other stuff that we're working on. There you go, throw that in there, perfect. Is it working now? It's working now. Yeah, it was bugged. It was a buggedied. It was a little, a tiny bit, a buggedied. A buggedy buggedied. All right, so water supply has been nice and evened out. Feeling pretty happy. We got like six water produced over here. It'll hold us for a little bit. It's not a perfect solution, but it is a solution. There we go. Four more water going to the reserves. And then I think all of these are full as well. Like, worst case scenarios, I actually think we could survive explicitly off of the solar stills before people died of HP loss. It's just risky and I don't want to do it. It's just risky is all. 175 out of 220 on our storage space. Sounds good to me. It's for drying wood and that's for drying wood. Yeah, I should probably send out the salvager to go grab me some wood. Go grab me some wood, my guy. Go make that happen. Everything else is looking fantastic right now, and since we've leveled off as far as our expenditures on food and water go, I do think it's a really, really good idea that we pick up some new people. I could actually tell them to swim out there and grab that if we wanted it to happen a little faster. Yeah, just swim out there. The salvager's doing what he's doing, but like... <laughs> you guys could bring back like three or four woods a piece. It would speed this along ever so slightly. Get some of that good and golden wet stuff all nice and up on the racks so that life will go a little bit easier. He's over here making firewood. Goot, that's what I like to hear. Yep, hang up that wet wood and get her going. I saw you guys going out of your way to bring that stuff back, so we might as well get it popping. Why would you hang it up on... Is that a fish one? Oh, that's a fish one. I was going to say, why would you hang it up over there if there was a... 
There was a place right there, but I guess not. Good. We should be in better shape as far as wood's concerned. I did want to get some platforms built out here. Yeah, sure. Make it all. Whatever. It's all good. Shouldn't I be able to make five? Or is it actively like the one that he's working on, maybe? That's got six. Yeah, make a few more water over here, too. I want to mash out. Like, I want to max out our water for a little while. And then maybe we'll think about unlocking the water tank or something. Now, we also need to move to the next part of the tech tree, which is where we can make screws and pipes. Haven't done it yet, but scrapsmith might not be a terrible plan. Let's put in the scrapsmith over there just so we have it for later. I feel like whatever the build I'm on right now, though, is a little less stable. Like, I feel like my frame rate is definitely a little bit lower this time around. Maybe I'm just not remembering properly, but I'm not even getting, like, 40 frames right now. Whereas last time I was... Maybe it's just because our city's getting bigger. I don't know. Water right there. Four water right there. Sounds good. We'll just let people kind of haul around for a little bit. Yep, you guys have tasks. You should probably go do them. I think they're all loading up wood drying racks and stuff. 18 water ready to go. Water, cool water. Dude, we have 52 fish. That's pretty wild. Scraps is going to be built up in just a minute, which is great. I need to get a big platform that runs all the way over to here and connects right there. But it's going to be expensive. It's going to be very costly. And I know it's going to be very costly. Yeah, 40 plastic to get that done. Oof. So much plastic. So much plastic. We'll worry about that later then. I don't see a point in doing it right now. Now you got the buoy marker right there. We'll go ahead and remove the swimmy buoy marker. We've got 30 something. Yeah, keep enlarging that. Get some more wood. It's fine. We got plenty of food, so we should be all right. Are we looking on firewood? None. Goody. We'll continue mashing through our wood supply, would you? Now over here, we can make pipes and we can make screws. It requires fuel to get that done, though, because apparently we got to blacksmith it on out. That's all right. We need 12 screws in order to get the plastic recycler up so that we can make nets. But this does unlock options in the tech tree that previously we weren't able to get after. So let's take a look at the map and see how things are going. Uh, the map is more or less like identical this time around. So I was hoping it'd be randomly generated, but I guess not. Um, it'll probably be randomly generated in the future, in all fairness. Uh, let's grab whatever food is on the map for right now. So we got fishies right here. We have fishies over here. We got fishies right there. Dude, we got like a hundred fishies on this map. We got a lot of fishies. We're like fishied out right now. Okay. Uh, go. This guy's name is Salty Scroat. All right, man. Whatever you say. Uh, send out the salvager to go hit up that island right there. We'll rescue Salty Scroat in a little bit. Salty Scroat and his safety are unimportant to me as of right now. As much as I love you, Salty. As much as I love you, Salty, we just can't afford to rescue you right now. Good old Salty Scroat. He's a good guy. His parents just kind of adhered to very dubious naming practices. <laughs> good God. Good old Salty Scroat. I've known Salty since back in 1917. We got 10 wood from right there. That's actually not half bad. I'll take that. We're going to need some plastics and stuff later on. But for now, that's workable. If we have the stuff for another mooring point over here, I'd be fine with that. Oh, it won't fit. So we have like a limit on our construction radius. I wonder how we increase that. Maybe in the research menu. It's not in the research menu. We can get some better fuel, or we can get some better food right there. The grilled fish kebabs. We'll probably get more research points too, so it's probably not that big of a deal spending points on it. Yeah, just keep mashing it out, I guess. The 
Looks good to me. We don't have any fuel left. Oh, man. That's fine. We've got enough for like nine more water right there. So we're going to hang tight and steal. We're going we're gonna to be able to hang tight and stay the course. It shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I just brought back ten more wood. Got like more wood than I need right now. I got wood coming out of my ears. I'm hoping we'll bring back some canned food from that location. I think if we just kind of like repeat the MO that we had before, which is target anything that's like in need, we should be good. Solar stills rocking. Alright. Not really sure what my overarching goals are for right now, or my overarching goals. I would like to put in another mooring point, so I think over here is probably a good place for that. We'll get that set up for now. Yeah, we'll just get like two of these set up over here so we got four boats so that we can really like fully like target and be like, hey, go grab this stuff right this second whenever we need to. Uh, we got a little bit of firewood out of there. That's a good sign. Let's keep water production bumping for right now. We have a little bit of extra firewood left. If he could bring back a bit more of it with him, that'd be great. He's got 10 of it right there. Exactly. Exactly. We got 10 research points. Okay. And we can actually get a food truck over here if we can make that work. It requires fuel, but I actually, I'll probably save up for the desalinator now that we're going that way. So that removes salt from seawater to generate fresh water in large amounts. I'm wondering how much more effective that's going to be. I've been curious about it since the first episode, that desalinator, and I've never actually had a playthrough survive long enough to actually get to the desalinator, and so... I am interested. Just keep making firewood there, bud. Just keep making the firewood there, bud. I'm gonna need you to make some firewood there, bud. See, this says we have two fuel, but it's not making the last water, so I'm thinking there's still a few little bugs around with the uh, water generation system. On the plus side, we have loads of firewood now. Food is dropping off kind of sharply, which is a little concerning. I think we should be okay. Like, if I know this location, he's going to start pulling food out of it pretty soon. He'll get like 10 or 15 cans, and that should prop us up ever so long enough to stay alive. Yeah, for whatever reason, it's not counting two of the firewood that are inside of there. I'm wondering if it's bugged from, like, previously. Or it's got, like, a ghost firewood in there or something. A spooky ghost firewood. The ghost of the wood. Yeah, he's bringing back food now. That's about what I figured. Eh, that's about what I figured right there, good buddy. That's about what I figured right there, good buddy. I'm pretty sure the loot is not randomized and you get the same thing every single time you go through. Woo! Catch a ride! 20 firewood. We just don't have anybody moving anything around right now. As soon as this is done, we'll go rescue the other two, and then we will deal with whatever happens after we pick them up. By that point, I think we should be solidly at the desalinator. And we're picking up two new people right about the time we're going to a new map, so I think it'll be okay. I think we'll be good. We'll get two more boats built over here, too. Couple more Boaty McBoat faces. So I want a salvage boat right there. Fishing boat right there. Get her done, everybody. Get her done. Keep the water flowing. We just brought in a grip more food from this location. Eight more food, to be exact, if you wanted, like, the numerary analysis the statistics of the situation. And he's bringing back even more food, so like, what's what's not to love? Uh, we'll tell them to go get rescued next. And now with two boats and more workers, I think we should be more effective anyways, because these stills are spending a lot of time just sitting around full. And with a couple more laborers, I think we'll get more of... Because these are really only effective so long as they're being picked up the instant they fill. Otherwise, it's just like a trickle of water that you may not even need. Uh, we got a couple of people that we just rescued. Das good. Das very, very good. Let's go ahead and throw in another house over here for our newest villagers. The newest members of our little society. We're now up to eight people. Hell yeah, brother. 
Hell yeah. We're going to send out a salvage boat. Two of them, in fact. To that location right there to pick up some more plastiques. And now we got two fishermen as well. Very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, we max that place out. We're going to have a big fall off in water pretty soon. Dude, look at our little fleet of ships going out. I hope they add threats to this game, like pirates and stuff like that. And then you get, like, little war boats that you can moor to that, like, go around with little harpoon jet skis. Like, doo, 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 doo. like they fight with each other. That'd be pretty sweet. That might not, like, given that this game is kind of about cleaning up the ocean, I doubt it's going to be a violent game like that. But deep down in my heart, I can wish, can't I? I can wish and I can dream. Don't take this from me, chat. Don't take this from me. I want Waterworld-style battles with heroes that are like mutants with gills and stuff. And like a guy that swims in the water with a knife. And when the enemy gets too close, he like jumps out of the water and drags him into the water with a knife. And then there's like a red spot right there that like fills out. And then you can steal the boat and bring it back to one of your moors. Like, I see, I take this in like a RimWorld direction. That's my problem is I view the whole world as RimWorld. That's the problem, is that I view the entire world as RimWorld. We do have no firewood left, which is marginally concerning. But seeing as we're basically done on this map, I'm not really that worried about our acquisitions anymore. Uh, we're out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Flotsam, where we pretty much beat the game. If you still want to see more, let me know, and we can keep going, at least to get to the, sal the desalinator or whatever. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, all that good stuff, and I'll be sure to peruse it. But uh, we've pretty much beaten the game and the content as it stands right now. There's a few things we haven't unlocked, like the water storage and, like, the food truck and, like, the desalinator. But other than that, we're, like, at the end of the content right now. See y'all later. Thanks for stopping on in, and hi do everybody.